Cars Garage. In this video, I'll be working on the Serpent SRX8 GTE long wheelbase bag 10. So let's get started. All right, so bag 10 is labeled as final assembly. It's gonna be the front bumper and body mounts. And then I believe bag 11 is going to be similar as final assembly and it's going to be for the rear. So, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to need this piece right here. I'm just going to check it to see if it needs any trimming and it looks like it does. So looks like we have this little cutout on this piece and that is actually going to mount right here so that's going to be facing down and it's just going to line up everything so we're going to need three m3 by 10 flathead screws and we're going to need three M3 nylock nuts. So the nylock nuts are going to install in this piece itself. There's cutouts, so you can just go ahead and drop them in. And you might need the help of some pliers. So I'm just going to use my shock pliers to kind of work the nut in to position. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and line this up just like that and then install our three M3 by 10 screws from the bottom. So it's a nice fit and you'll feel the nylock nut shoulder up so you don't have to crank down on it too hard. There we go. So now we're going to need this plastic piece and the foam bumper itself. Let's take a look. Looks like we need some trimming. Okay. So this is going to install like so. This is the top. This is the bottom. And we're going to install these posts through the foam itself. This is a nice and tight fit in the foam. Just like so. so we're gonna need three M3 nylock nuts. We're gonna need three M3 by 12 flathead screws. Looks like we need some washers and it's going to be these aluminum washers that have a little countersunk um, head for, for the countersunk head. So we need three of those. And then we're also going to need an M3 by eight set screw. So we got everything there. So I'm going to go ahead and put these together with the washers and that's how it's going to look. So the nylock nuts actually install from the top. There is a place for them to sit and that way you don't have to hold back up. So um, I'm going to see if I can install it with my two millimeter hex that way I'm not worried about it flipping over or something like that. So that looks like it's working. So I'm gonna try it on the rest of them. Okay, that worked perfectly. So now what we can do is install this front bumper assembly onto this piece we just installed. And I'm gonna go ahead and install the set screw 
actually, I'm just gonna get those set screws started. And we're also gonna need a pin. So that set screw has started. Not in the hole. So this pin is actually gonna go through this here and hold it in place. And I'll show you where that goes once we mount this. So I can go ahead and line this up. And actually we can go ahead and install this pin. This pin goes in right in front of the sway bar. So we can get this lined up and then install the pin through the sway bar mount, just like so. And then we can install the set screw all the way flush. There's a groove in the pin and the set screw sits in the groove or on the side of the groove actually, and it prevents that pin from backing out. So now we can go ahead and flip the car over, line up the bumper, and we can install our M3 by 12 flathead screws. And you'll feel the nylon lock nut shoulder up, so you don't need to tighten down too hard. Nice and beefy bumper. Now we can install the body posts. And it doesn't quite say how tall to keep the body posts. So let's go ahead and trim these because they need them. Okay, so. Looks like we just install this pin. I guess it's just like a friction fit through the body mount and the body post. So just like so. We do another one. Let's This one's going to be on the second hole from the top. So these two holes here, we're going to install on the second hole from the top. Just insert the pin. So these body posts install over here. You want to line up the holes with the front because we're going to install an M2 by 10 box head from the front. Right, for the central body mount, we need this piece here, and it's going to install using an M2 by 10 screw and an M3 by 10 screw. So the M3 by 10 screw will go in from the front. It's going to install in the tower in these two holes here. The screw is going to go in the top hole and the nub from that plastic piece is going to install in the bottom hole. All right, and when you install this body support Take note of the holes, because they're going to be facing the rear of the vehicle. And we're going to install it with 
the M2 by 10 box head screw. This is just an adjustment we're gonna have to play with once we get our body. So I'm gonna kind of leave it on the tall side. All right, I just double check to make sure these are even and they are. So that concludes bag 10. Final assembly, looks like the front bumper and body mounts. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Stay tuned for the next video, which is bag 11, final assembly, the last bag, which is gonna be the rear body mount and diffuser. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.